guys and welcome back to my Instagram or welcome to my YouTube channel. So if you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer and if you're in the mood for just any type of videos, and this is very welcome to you to my channel. In today's video, I will be doing my first ever um, Easter makeup and if you guys didn't know, I'm filming this on the 1st of April and Easter is Sunday, So, but this video is going to go up on Monday, so you guys will get to see it. Or what I could do is I could probably have this video up on Sunday and just not post a video on Monday. Yeah. Okay, so this video will be live on Easter Sunday. And even though COVID is still a major thing around the world, you know, like Easter is like always a time to remember about like like God, Jesus, and just about the meaning of Easter. Easter is not really just about like Easter eggs and chocolate and all that. It's just like the meaning of feeling like connected with your family and all that is just amazing. So we're gonna do like a super pastel, super pastel, like spring makeup look just to kick off. It's gonna be nice on when I when I post this video. It's gonna be twelve, so you guys will be able to you know wear some nice soft makeup and. So if you guys want to know how I how I did this look, well then just keep watching. So we're gonna do we're gonna do our eyes before our face like we normally do, of course. To prime my eyelids today, I'm gonna be taking. Nope. I'm taking an old product. This is my trusty conceal, conceal cover and correct crayon. This is in the shade bisque. I'm gonna use that as my eye primer. I need a mirror. So, what are you guys' plans for Easter? I know COVID is everywhere right now, and. Not really much we can do. We can't see our family, can't see your friends. But what are you guys doing? Have you guys like doing something special with your parents? Sisters, brothers, if you guys live still with your parents. If you guys doing if you guys live alone, what are you guys gonna do? What are you gonna do? You're gonna do some Zoom calls. I'm pretty much just gonna call my parents and say happy Easter. This is what I normally do on Easter anyways. Hope you guys too to call your parents and tell them that you guys love them and I'm just using my buffer brush to if you guys didn't know I cleaned all my brushes with my new lavish cosmetics brush soap you guys I'm telling you this brush soap is amazing and I am definitely gonna use it again I do like to brush my brushes about once or twice a week so this is what it looks like. It's not tacky at all, which is super great, but I'm going to go at one at stitch and we're going to put like a clear primer over top. And the clear primer I'm going to be using is my one from Visart. I love this eye primer so much. So what you basically just need is like It's way too much, but like, you know, tiny drops. Usually do tiny drops. Don't do like me. Don't do like me. And I'm just going to take my finger for this primer. And just put it over top. So I always liked Easter. It's just like. In my family, Easter was always like a tradition of us going to um, the St. Joseph Oratory and then like having a delicious meal that usually my mom would prepare and all that. And you know, since COVID, especially since last year, you know, it's been weird like not having family over because usually my aunt comes, usually have my aunt come over. And, you know, especially now that my grandmother and grandpa are, are not there anymore, it's, like, really weird, especially for my mom. And, you know, of course, things change a lot, especially after the death of someone. It's just you don't really realize that that person did so much for your life until that hits you and all that. So we're going to do our eyes. Like I said, let's start with stuff yakking, yakking. I'm going to use about three palettes. I'm going to start using my Nostalgia palette. This is what it looks like if you guys didn't know. I'm going to do something like really pastel. I'm going to use some yellow, some blue, some green. And that's the colors of Easter. 
I'm looking for one specific brush. I'm going to take a brush like this. This is um, from Morphe. And I'm going to try and attempt something. I'm just going to take the yellow, which is the color called Water Slide. I'm going to make like an, like, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing. This could turn out super cute, or it could turn out like a big disaster. But I am putting it completely over my eye. I don't even know that the other side is going to match, but we're going to try. I'm going to do the other side and try to be right back, okay? Okay, well, it's, you know, it's really bad on this side. This side looks cute. You guys don't know what I'm doing, right? Now, next one, the next color I'm going to take is the green. Okay. This is turning out like almost like a rainbow. But I'm telling you, at the end, it's all gonna look good. I have been planning this eye look for I think a year now. So now we have the green and now we're going to do uh, a lid color, and of course we need a pink, so we're going to do exactly the same thing, but with pink. I'm gonna, uh, I used the color Water Slide, then I used Theme Park, and now I'm going to use Picnic, which is the pink. And these are just the kind of colors that you guys will probably see in an Easter egg. Like really soft pastel y colors. Which like mimics like a Cadbury egg almost. Of course you guys are, you guys are like some of you guys are from Canada. And okay look. I'm gonna take picnic and I'm gonna put it on my lid. It's going like pink. You guys know what I'm mimicking? I'm mimicking um a Cadbury like, oh my god! Okay, if you guys come from Canada, you guys know that Tim Horton did a new Cadbury egg donut, and the donut eggs are colored pink. There's a pink one, there's a a green one, there's a yellow one, and there's a blue one. And just, I'm trying to create like a Cadbury egg almost type of look. Let me know if you guys find it interesting or you guys find it just weird. Okay. This is not the kind of Easter look that I normally do, but I just found it so cute. And I would 10, 10 out of 10 recommend you guys try that egg before it goes away. It is. I mean, that donut, not that egg. That donut is so good, guys. So good and so worth it. I think it's like two bucks, which two bucks is not that bad for a donut anyways. Especially, you know, it's really good. Next, I'm taking this to Color Workshop Electric Palette. And I'm going to take oof, this blue because it really is a light baby blue that's in that donut. And I'm doing exactly what I'm doing, what I've been doing since before. Oh yeah, this eyeshadow is 
I mean, this eyeshadow brush is so much softer than the other ones. And you guys can't even see it somewhere, too. I think a medium tone blue instead. So I'm making, I don't know, I've had this idea ever since I knew that the donut was coming out. I want to do like two looks, like one on each eye. At the time I'm filming this, it's like so late. So this is what it looks like on Let's Now. You know what we're going to do. I'm going to do it on the lower lash line. Ready? A bit of yellow. A bit of green. A bit of pink. And a bit of blue. Same thing we're gonna do on the other side. Ready? So you start with the blue. I mean, you start with the yellow, and then you put the green. Then you put the pink. Then you add with the blue. And now we're going to find something super magical for our in or corners. I want to do something really bright. Not bright, but really pretty. Pretty inner corners. So, I'm going to be diving into my Ciate Velvet Eyeshadow Palette. And, you guys guessed it, I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use this color in my, I love this color in my inner corners. It's so pretty. So this is what the eye look looks like. I have a lot of follow, I know, but at the end, I gotta say, I like the eye look. I know it's not like your typical Easter eye look, but this is my Easter Cadbury egg donut inspired look. It's so cool. And right now, since that is done, we are gonna jump on to our face. I've already primed, of course. Next, I'm going to use my foundation. And now my phone is chilling me. I don't know what. But I want to tell them to just shut up. Because I'm filming. I'm using my NYX Can't Stop One Step in vanilla. And some foundation just splashed. I don't know where. What is another foundation you guys want me to try? I'm looking for a new one. Because I like this one, but I'm almost empty. Ah, these brushes. When they're clean, they apply foundation so beautifully. I love it. Well, let me know. If there's another foundation you guys want me to try from the drugstore. One brand... A foundation that I'm not too impressed with is a, is a Rimmel. I have never been a fan of Rimmel foundation. I got one for Christmas that was so, not cakey, but I just did not like the formula. I used, well, because I used it because, you know, my aunt bought it for me for my birth for Christmas. And when, you, when your aunt tries to buy you some makeup... Because she doesn't know what shade you are. You just use it anyways. So I would self-tan and use that as like a self-tanning shade. But I came to the conclusion that I just didn't like it at all. And, you know. Me being the niece that I am. I didn't want to tell her. 
I don't even know if she watches my videos, but if you do, sorry, Auntie. I love this, but like even this, this foundation right here, it's not my color at all. And you guys know it. You guys know it's not my color. But I use it anyways. Because I'm that bitch. Next up, I'm going to use concealer and I'm going to use my... Oh my god. I'm going to use my Too Faced. Ever since I... Oh. Ever since I took the stopper out, like, there's so much product. I'm going to use this brush, which is... Just don't forget to blend. Always blend. So I just want to tell you guys really quick, happy Easter to all of you who do celebrate Easter because I know that there are some people who don't celebrate Easter, but I'm the kind of person who is who does celebrate Easter I just remember two years ago at Easter I was what seven months pregnant with my little girl and it's like just crazy just crazy to think that two years ago my girl was not even here and now it's been like it's gonna be two years I have my girl now. She's gonna be two years old in two months. It's crazy. Like, of course, people have always told me that like, a baby grows fast. And I was like, oh, and I'm pretty sure she's not gonna grow that fast. Ladies, whenever you guys have kids, just enjoy it when it's all quiet and all that. Because I talk to my daughter almost every day on camera. And yeah. But if you guys didn't know, I am not my daughter right now. I'm in Saint Amab, which with my boyfriend because me and my boyfriend we would see each other every weekend before and since his like since his mom is older, like she's over sixty five, um it's just too risky for us to be able to travel like we normally did, so I'm basically here and of course I do miss my daughter I miss my I miss my family but she's perfect she's in good hands with my mom my mom I'm using some iconic London blaze chaser I'm just using I'm just using that to give myself a little bit of warmth even though I'm already way too warm because of the friggin Foundation. I'm not gonna put any blush or highlight. I'm gonna put on some mascara. I'm gonna use my. Okay, so mascara is on. I use my Too Faced Damn Girl. If you guys want, you guys could use falsies, but I don't not like that. And all we got to do left is put on a lip. I'm gonna use my Half Cake. I'm gonna use my recent combo that I talked about. This is St. Lux Lip Liner in the shade Love Letter. Still looking for my mirror. You go. I put that. Now I'm using my half cake liquid lipstick in Deem Song. Yeah. 
Now what I do with that. Really just blends it itself. And to finish that off, I'm putting my Sol de Janeiro lip butter in the shade Soulmate. So I'm not going to put every single product that I use in the description box like I normally do. But you guys probably seen every product I use. So this is the final look. I hope you guys have an amazing day amazing day this video is going up like i said on sunday and yeah so this is my cadbury mini egg donut inspired makeup look i hope that you guys enjoyed and thank you guys so much for continuing to support me on this journey and all that so thank you guys so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'll see you guys in the next one